Taylor spoke her mind and Apple swiftly responded. Mm -hmm. The company has decided that it will pay royalties to artists during its free trial period for Apple Music. Apple reserved uh Reserve, reversed. rather reverse. Thank you very much. <laughs> Apple reverse course less than 24 hours after Swift penned an open letter to the company. Uh, we're joined now by CNET editor Dan Ackerman to talk a bit about this. Man, she's got she's a heavyweight. <laughs> so t give us an idea. Like, were you surprised by how quickly Apple changed its mind about not paying artists? Oh yes, because this is not a company that usually bends to public opinion or really makes it sort of negotiations uh, for people to see. So yeah. this happened, you know, on a Sunday night. They say if you want to bury news. Or Release it like late on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. So maybe a tweet on uh, you know, Sunday, 11 o'clock at night, uh, was meant not really be noticed, but we're here talking about it the next day. Yeah. Obviously, it's a big deal. Well, it involves Taylor Swift mm -hmm. and Apple. So let's talk about how it all played out because it all played out on Twitter and online with the. And on Tumblr. Yeah, so what do you make of all that? Well, when Apple said they're going to have this Apple Music service, but you're going to have a three month free trial, that's cool, but they're not going to pay the royalties to anybody. If you have an album coming out during that free trial, when you get most of your initial spins, you might lose out on a lot of money. Even Spotify, which has a free tier, pays, you know, it's a lower level of royalty rate than if you're a paid subscriber, but you get money no matter what, even if it's a fraction of a penny. So for them to hold this back seems kind of petty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I tell you, I think they could do a business course on Taylor Swift in, like, in <laughs> business school, don't you think? Because she knows how to work the, the business angle of this whole thing. Do you think she, by doing this, maybe we're setting a precedent now for future uh, streaming companies that they're not going to be able to get away with not paying artists? It's interesting. The precedent was really going to be set by Apple by saying we're not going to uh, pay streaming royalties uh, because of the deals that we struck with the record companies during this you know, three month, very long free trial period. How many songs could you stream in three months mm -hmm. for a free trial? A lot of them. Mm -hmm. And the artists would get nothing for that. Yeah. All right. And before we go on to the next topic, how much is this going to cost Apple? You know, I don't think it's going to cost very much because the streaming royalty rate are so low anyway. It's really almost destroyed the music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, artists, even if you get millions of spins, you make virtually no money from these streaming mm -hmm. services.